Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a very exciting video. This is the biggest Lululemon try on haul I've ever done, the largest Lululemon order I've ever placed, but I have been so excited about Lululemon's new styles and their new colors that they've been coming out with. And let me just show you a sneak peek of this haul because this will tell you exactly my personality. Look at the colors I went with. All browns, all neutrals, all beiges. And I'm so excited to finally get to try all of this stuff on. In this order, I think there are 21 pieces. Like I said, biggest Lululemon order I've personally ever placed. And eight of the 21 pieces are bags and accessories. And so I've got a lot of bags that I wanted to try out that I've had my eye on. And then some new sneakers. And then of course, like all the good clothing. So if you are interested in any of these pieces, I'll have them linked down below as well as in a blog post if you want to check them out and see each outfit that way you can find that pinned in the comments and in the description box also if you want to check out any of my previous lululemon videos my other hauls stuff like that i will have those linked down below in the description box i have some other hauls that focus on summer pieces and then like winter pieces and leggings so there's a good mix of stuff that i've added to my lululemon collection we're gonna go ahead and jump on in i want to start with accessories first and then we'll move into all the clothing pieces Starting off with this first piece, so this is probably the bag that I was the most excited about. I love a quilt in the fall and winter, and I specifically love Lululemon's quilted puffer style pieces. I actually ended up grabbing one of their puffer jackets, which we'll get to much later in the video, but this is basically the same material as their Wonder Puff vest and jacket. So it's this five liter quilt bag, and it actually does have a longer crossbody strap with these little hooks here in the front where you can attach like carabiners and things like that. But this is a fully adjustable crossbody strap. I really like the fact that it has these top handles. They do have a large tote version of this that's like a full size tote bag and it could probably fit like a laptop, but I went with a smaller one because I thought this would be the perfect kind of everyday sporty bag. On the inside, it's got one zipper pocket here in the back. Two little mesh pockets here in the front if you're familiar with the belt bags. It has the two mesh pockets like that. And then the rest of the bag is just one large open compartment. It's a really good, like I said, medium sized bag. And it seems like it would be perfect for kind of every day because it's not too big, but not too small. Definitely bigger than the Lululemon belt bag. So you can fit quite a bit in here, but I just thought this would be so cute for the winter, which I know is crazy that I'm already saying the winter, but I just feel like we're gonna blink and it's gonna be holiday before we know it. And so I'm already like in full fall winter mode personally. I don't know if you guys are, leave me a comment down below if you're already mentally like, I wanna shop for fall, I'm tired of summer stuff. That was kind of my plan with this haul. I got a couple pairs of shorts I had been eyeing during the summer that I just wanted to have for like, honestly, end of summer. And then also next year, I knew they would be really, really great shorts to have. So grabbed a couple of those, but for the most part, focused a lot on like more fall pieces. Next up, this is the crossbody camera bag in the two liter version. And I've actually had my eye on this specific bag for kind of a while now. I've really wanted to try their camera bag. And I ended up pulling the trigger on this one because of the color. So this is a new color. This is called Brown Earth. And I'm honestly on the fence about keeping this bag because I think this color pulls a little bit more of like a reddish deep plum in person than what it looked like online. So I'm gonna take it outside and just see kind of what it looks like out in natural light. But honestly, inside it's pulling a lot more deep purple, which isn't a huge deal if you're not wearing a ton of like Java or I guess the other browns that Lululemon has. However, I think this color for like an everyday crossbody bag might be a little bit difficult for me to match with a lot of my other brown stuff, which is basically all Java. I got a lot of brown in this haul though, so it might work. Long story short though, I'm still on the fence about this one, so I'll probably keep the tags on this one until I decide if I want to exchange it. I think I do want to keep this style of bag though and just get a different color. On the front, you have the Lululemon logo. I'm gonna leave the little plastic tab there until I figure out if I want to return this one. But there is one very narrow pocket that I think you could slide a phone into or a card holder wallet in pretty easily. And then there's another zipper here. 
that has a larger back compartment. So this compartment here in the back is wider. So this is where you could put things like your keys, your AirPods, any sort of like cosmetics that you would want could easily slip in there. There is a little pocket here in the back without a zipper. So just to separate, I don't know, you could put like receipts back there. In the very, very back here, there is another slot and let's see if it fits my big iPhone. Yeah. So that fits in there perfect. I love that. I honestly love the size of this and the organization seems really nice. So I think what I'm gonna do is just hold on to it and see what other colors they have online because I honestly can't remember. I didn't really look at the other colors because I was so excited about this brown when I saw it online. That's why I like Lululemon's return policy because sometimes you get stuff online and you're like, this is gonna be so cute. And then you see in person, it's not exactly the color that you want. And I do think that browns, I feel like they kind of matter when picking them out and matching them to other browns. So anyway, has a fully adjustable crossbody strap. I do love the material of it though. It's almost like a waterproof slick nylon material. So it seems like it'd be a really good kind of durable bag. I think I might just exchange it for a different color. Because I was taken so much by the brown earth color on the site, I ended up also ordering the on my level bag 2.0 19 liters so this is more of like a tote bag in the same color brown earth and i actually was just looking at the reviews which i'm an idiot and i don't know why i didn't totally look at the reviews before ordering both the camera bag and this bag but this one is also pulling a little bit more purple and somebody did leave a review on the site and said that it does pull more purple than it's looking online which is kind of a bummer because you just you don't mind if it's actually this color and it shows up this color but it's a bummer that it's pulling like a really it honestly looks like java on the website which is why i ended up getting it because i'm obsessed with their java color anyway for some reason though i will say to me this one seems less purple than the camera bag and i don't know what it is about this bag versus this one but for some reason my eyes are like playing tricks on me and this one looks even more purple it might be the material of this one is just different than this bag but both pull a little bit purple I really, really wanted to love this one. I think I'm gonna take it outside, like I said, and just see it naturally. But I think I might end up exchanging this one or returning it and seeing if they come out with a different color because I just, I wanna love it, obviously. But the style of it, I've been obsessed with. I think they actually had this in their trench or like white opal color, which that's the one I really should have gotten. But when I saw this brown one, I was like, oh, immediately I want that. And I don't know, I honestly, might hold on to this one. I think I'm definitely gonna take the camera bag back, but for some reason it doesn't bother me as much in this bag. I really couldn't tell you why. It might truly just be the material, but has two top handles. These are not long enough to put over your shoulder. They're just for holding. And then it has a crossbody strap and I'll be sure to try all of these on with the clothing items that way you can see them on but I just wanted to hold them up here for you the actual bag has like a little flap here which I love the design of that I thought that was really nice and then on the inside it's broken up into two compartments so in the middle here there's a mesh pocket and the mesh pocket does have a zipper which is super nice you could throw like keys in there you could throw underwear in there if you're using this as like a gym bag i think this would be on a sick or really great bag to take to pilates or take to the gym because it's just a really kind of like wipeable clean material on one side it's got a little back pocket here with no zipper so just a small back pocket on the other side we have again another small pocket no zipper and then actually a pocket for a water bottle so that's super nice you can throw a water bottle in there and it won't tip over in your bag this could be a great work bag it does feel large enough for either like a big iPad or a smaller computer. I honestly really like the functionality and the style of this bag. So I'm gonna think on this one a little bit more and I'll let you guys know if I end up exchanging this or returning it completely, but I really like the style of it. And again, for some reason, it doesn't look as purple as the other one. So I might hold on to it. Next up, I got the mini belt bag in the trench and nomad colorway. And this one I actually love so much because it's truly so stripped back. This is the best bag 
if you're going on a walk and you truly just want to have your keys and your phone on you, that's it. You don't need to take any other smaller items. I really, really like this. You can fit like one lip product in it as well. It's a very good out of the way, super, super small bag. One thing I will note is that if you have the larger iPhone, it doesn't fit in the back compartment. So I'm, I wonder if the smaller iPhone would, this one doesn't. However, it does fit in the main compartment. So when I used this the other day while walking the dog, I just put my phone in the big compartment and it fits perfectly fine like that. This is totally like just your essentials, very small and out of the way, which is what I really like about it. Another belt bag that I got is the Clean Lines belt bag. This is the two liter belt bag. So this is the same size as the larger regular belt bag that I have. This is my two liter regular belt bag. This is the same size, but in a more like street style, cool aesthetic. I feel like if you have a significant other that is really wanting a belt bag, but they don't want the belt bag that a lot of girls carry. This one's actually really cool. Honestly, when I got this one in the mail, Jason was like, I could wear that. And I was like, you could wear that. So this would be one, such a good gift for your significant other if they are wanting one of these for like a trip or something like that. I think this one is so cool, but also I personally love it. Really love the color of this, the black Lululemon kind of logo here on the front I think is really cool. And this one has a front zipper. So instead of the one single zipper that the regular one has, it's got a front zipper here, which has a mesh divider and a little hook for your keys. And then it also has a back pocket like that where you could keep things like closer to you. This is a smaller pocket than the front pocket. This would be a great place to put your wallet. It's a much smaller compartment than the front big pocket. So anything you want super small that you don't want to rummage through your bag for could go back there. And then this one doesn't have a back pocket to slide your phone into like this one does, even though it's a zipper. I think you could also probably fit your phone. Yeah, you can fit your big phone in this top zipper pocket. So instead of the back zipper pocket, like the other two liter belt bag has, this one has a top zipper pocket. So actually it makes it a little bit easier to get your phone in and out of that because it's on top versus in the back against you. So I got this one, which I thought was really cool. And then if you are against the basic belt bag trend that has been going on, I found a belt bag on Lululemon that I thought was really cool and different than the belt bag that you see on everyone. So this is the City Adventure belt bag in 2.5 liters. So this is a little bit bigger than the white belt bag that I just showed you. And this one I got in the color trench. It's this beautiful like khaki nude color with silver hardware. And I love the style of this bag. I think it's just a little bit more unique than the classic belt bag. It also looks a little bit less of like active wear, athletic style of a bag. It's got a zipper pocket in the front here. And this is one of those bags that's actually easier to get into when it's on your body, but small zipper pocket in the front, which would be perfect for your wallet or your keys. And then it actually has a pretty large zipper here on the top under a flap and this is a pretty big compartment so you've got the two mesh pockets here and then in the back you have one large zipper pocket that goes through the entire back of the bag also has another zipper pocket here in the back for your phone and this zipper pocket very very easily fits your phone so i think this one probably has the most organization the most space of all of the belt bags and it's a really cool option if you don't like the rectangle belt bags. I ended up grabbing a pair of sneakers in this haul because I saw that they released these strong feel training shoes. I'm looking at like the proper names of each of these items because I knew I wouldn't remember all of them. So that's why I keep looking over here. I've got my iPad, but these are the strong feel trainers and they're in this really, really beautiful like ivory, 
color with a little bit of the trench color they're so gorgeous and i love the design of them one thing that i noticed because i also do have the charge feel sneakers so got them right here for a little comparison so these are the charge feel sneakers and these ones i got in the all white colorway i think i got these back in january maybe or maybe it was february i can't honestly remember these ones i really liked i have gone on walks in them i've worn them to the gym they do have a good amount of like arch support which is nice the strong feel sneakers are also for training so these are both technically for training i will say one thing that i noticed with the strong feel sneakers is that they have a lot more padding in them so they're a lot more cushiony than the charge feels i'm trying to get all the names right but these ones have a padded tongue all the way down they also have really thick padding around the entire ankle so these are really really comfortable i noticed that when i put these on i think they have a pretty similar insole to them so they're not too too different and based off of the fit and feel of them i don't notice too much of a difference personally but i do know that i really like the way that these fit and feel they're very very comfortable same with these they're just like a very good basic shoe but these ones i really like the colorway on so if you're looking for a cute sneaker that isn't a really stark white sneaker but are still really great to walk in i actually really really like these and these are cool because they have like a almost like a mesh overlay over the sneaker that just gives them a lot of like dimension and texture and I love the color of these with the tan sole I think is really pretty so last accessory before we get into the clothing I know there's like so many accessories I don't normally order this many accessories but I was really really excited about all these bags I ended up grabbing a pair of socks this is not very exciting but Jason wears their socks for working out and running and he really likes them and I had been in need of some new white kind of not no show, but like lower length ankle socks. So these ones I got from Lululemon, I got them in a size small and these are just like a three pack of socks. So just thought I would include that. So I'm gonna start with bottoms and then we'll do tops and then we'll do outerwear and then I'll end with a dress. But these are a pair of shorts that I actually tried on in the Lululemon store, I think like a couple months ago. And I love them so much. I ended up taking pictures of everything that I tried on and added a few of those pieces to my order. I like to do that a lot where I like go into Lululemon, I try on a bunch of stuff take photos of it and then I just kind of compile it all together in one large order. So these are the stretch woven relaxed high rise shorts. I got them in the bone color, which is this beautiful, very neutral toned off white. It's so easy to pair with everything. And these ones have a four inch inseam. So really great length inseam. I'm five foot two just for reference as I show you guys stuff. I will also have the sizes that I ordered in each piece on my blog. So be sure to check out that. Like I said, it'll be pinned in the comments if you're interested in sizing and what I ordered, but I'm five foot two and these fit so, so well. I love the fact that they're super high waisted. They work really well with any type of crop tank. So this is a cropped tank bra and it's one of my favorites. I have it in two colors and I actually just ordered another color of it because it's one of my favorites. It has a built-in bra. It's a little bit longer, so it works really well with your shorts and it feels more like a tank than a bra, but it's super supportive. And I also like the fact that it doesn't have like the crisscross straps. It's just very simple design, square neck. These shorts are so cool though. They have this paneling here on the side, this faux paneling, and then the front panel has pockets kind of hidden behind them. So really flattering, really different than some other shorts that I have from Lululemon. So I thought these were really cool when I saw them in the store. I knew I wanted to get them. So I'm glad that I ordered them in this order and that they were also in stock because their stuff sells out so fast, guys. I had multiple items in my cart that literally sold out while I was checking out. It was so tragic. But if there's anything that does sell out, I would highly recommend signing up to be notified when they restock because you'll get an email 
Anyway, these shorts, I love. The silhouette is so, so flattering. And then I got them on with the Strong Feel sneakers in the off-white and then this mini belt bag. I want to show you guys the camera bag so you can just see the difference between the Java and the Brown Earth. This tank is in Java and I have a bunch of stuff in Java and then this bag is in Brown Earth. So you can see it's so subtle, but it just picks up a little bit more purple than Java does. So so this bag I probably wouldn't wear with anything that's Java because you can tell a little bit in the difference of tones. So that's why I'm probably going to exchange this one because I wear a lot of Java from Lululemon and I just feel like it's kind of hard to match these two different toned browns. But I wanted you guys to see the difference here so you can kind of get an idea of Java versus brown earth. So next pair of shorts are the License to Train High Rise shorts. These are so high-waisted as well. I love where they hit on my waist. They are so flattering. Again, they have a four-inch inseam, so they are really, really comfortable. I don't feel like they're too short or too long on me. To me, I think like the four-inch inseam is the perfect inseam for me but I love this color. This is the color Dark Oxide, which is a really deep kind of muted purple. I have it on with the brown earth bag so you can see the two different tones together. This is definitely pulling a little bit purple, so I feel like it does work with the shorts, but you can kind of see the two different colors side by side here. This one is a lot deeper, obviously, but still has kind of similar undertones. I love these shorts. I really wanted these for the summer and then also for next year. I know summer is kind of coming to an end relatively soon, but I really wanted these for next year. I love the color of them. I needed something different than just chocolate brown and black. So I got them in dark oxide and they have zipper pockets, which are really nice if you are more active and you just wanna make sure you don't lose your keys or whatever's in your pocket. So they have zipper pockets. Like I said, super high-waisted. You can adjust the tie to your desired tightness. And I've got them on with my scuba zip. This thing I have been dying to wear again. It has been so hot here. And we actually got a really great kind of cold front that came in. And so it's no longer 98 degrees. I think the other day it was literally 100 degrees here. And... I decided that because it dropped below 90 degrees, I'm gonna put on my scubas. So this is the scuba and white opal. I love this. I have scubas in so many different colors. I actually got a new scuba that I can't wait to show you guys. But these are the same sneakers and this is my next piece. Next up, these are the soft stream high rise straight pants in brown. I actually got them in the cropped length. If you guys have watched my past Lululemon videos, I actually have a pair of these that I got in the full length version and I ended up taking them in to get hemmed, which one thing that I love about Lululemon is that they do complimentary hemmings on your bottoms as long as they're not joggers or you don't have like zippers or buttons at the bottom. If it's like a very normal pant bottom like these, they can actually hem them to your height. So that's one thing I would highly recommend taking advantage of with their leggings and with their pants. And then I believe they can also hem like shirt sleeves, the shirt lengths on you. So definitely take advantage of that at your Lululemon store. But these ones are in the crop length and I think it's a 25 inch inseam for their crops and they fit honestly perfect like unless you wanted them to be a little bit longer and you really want them a specific length if you're five foot two or a little bit shorter than me i think these are like the perfect length the way that they are so i really love the length of these i got them in the dark brown which one thing i've noticed with the soft stream fabric is that it always is a little bit more like ashy or more gray than it kind of appears online so these ones i got in the brown they do show up a little bit more of like a dark gray or like a dark taupe with a little bit of a brown kind of undertone to them. Similar with the black ones that I have in full length, they show up a little bit gray with like a little bit of a blue undertone. So definitely make sure you love the color, but these ones I think are really beautiful. They honestly look like a dark taupe, which I think is a really great neutral to have. Also, if you're not familiar with the soft stream fabric from Lululemon, it's insane. Like I have a couple pairs of these pants. I have some shorts in this fabric. I have a sweatshirt in this fabric. 
and it's so soft but at the same time it's almost like a cooling material as well so these are so great for those transitional months where you want to wear like sweatpants but you don't want them to be fleece lined these are like the perfect perfect pant for that so i'm so excited to have these for the fall so comfortable they do have an adjustable waist that you can tie and adjust to how tight you want them to be like i said be sure to check out the blog post for like exact sizing on what i got but for the most part my bottoms are usually in a size two sometimes the leggings i'll do size four and then my tops are pretty consistently always a size four but check out the blog post for exact sizes for each piece but just in general i found that i typically will need to size down in the bottoms for some reason but every single pair of pants is different i've had to return some in the past so Check out the blog post for my thoughts on sizing, but these ones fit amazing. I got these in a size two. I love the crop length and I got it on with one of the Align bras. My two liter belt bag in white opal. She's classic. And then my charged feel sneakers that are all white. My new Lululemon socks. So this is my next piece. I know I said I was gonna do all of the bottoms first and then show you the tops, but I wanted to show you guys this almost like a set because I just thought this was the most powerful outfit I have ever seen. I've got on the Define cropped half zip, which this is so flattering on guys like it is so beautiful i got it in the color espresso this is one of the newer colors that lululemon has had and i grabbed quite a few pieces in the espresso it's a much cooler tone brown than java so i'll show you guys the two side by side when i try on something else but this is the define jacket if you are familiar with like the og define jacket it's a longer jacket that zips all the way down this one is a cropped half zip and i love the fact that the zipper is gold i just think that's unique and pretty and what i love about the define jacket is that it's super fitted it's so flattering it has little thumb holes and then also it has these protective little covers for your hands if you are running outside in the winter but it is just one of the most flattering pieces all of the define jackets i feel like fit so well so i'm so excited to have this crop version and then i have on a pair of align zip leggings in the exact same color espresso so these ones are the align material so different material than the define jacket material but these ones are so buttery soft like the align leggings these ones however have a zipper in the front so these ones come in a 25 inch inseam which I am like so here for. I would not need to take these in to get him. They're the perfect length for me. However, I'm wondering if I'm gonna end up exchanging the zipper ones for the non-zipper ones because they also make an aligned version of these that are a 28 inch inseam, but there's no zipper. I'm not sure how much I'll like the zipper or get tired of the zipper or if it will be kind of annoying for like workouts because i want to be able to do pilates in these so i'm wondering if the zipper would be a little bit kind of in the way when i'm doing like sit-ups or crunches or things like that i love the style of them and i love the look of the zipper but i'm wondering how functional they'll be so just my honest opinions i think i might exchange these for the regular align pant with out the zipper i think they look so good together though this is such a powerful powerful outfit i'm obsessed with the color espresso this is honestly what i thought dark earth was gonna look like or brown earth or whatever it's called i thought it was gonna be this color this color is perfect do not hesitate on grabbing anything in the espresso colorway it's beautiful in person i love it like i'm actually obsessed with this color and then i have on the quilted crossbody bag which i just love so much like this is truly my favorite bag that i've gotten from lululemon in this haul and i am so glad i got it because this thing sells out so fast so be sure to check the site and see if it's back in stock but this is my next outfit next up are a pair of pants that i love so much but i need to get a different size they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand i got these in a size two because like i said i normally size down in all of the pants or shorts but these are tight and i don't feel super comfortable in them so i'm going to 
exchange these for sure but i definitely want to grab them in a size four because i love the length i love the material i love the color i love everything about them i think if they just fit a little bit less snug in like my thighs and also my just everywhere they're just kind of tight everywhere i think i would love these for the fall so these are the rib soft stream high rise cropped pants 25 inch inseam guys if you are five foot two or shorter or around there the 25 inch inseam is the inseam for you if you like this look i personally love this length so definitely grabbing these in a different size i love the ribbing of them oh i love the color of them yeah i just i wish i just got the size right but what can you do so i still have the tag on them because i want to definitely exchange these the bottoms of them have this really cool little zipper at the bottom so you can make them like more of a straight leg by closing the zipper or you can unzip the bottoms and make them a little bit more of a i wouldn't say they're a flare pant they're definitely not a flare but they're more of like a kicked out bottom style which i actually really like i think that's a kind of a fun little detail got them on with my soft stream crew neck i got this in a size four but honestly i would recommend sizing up maybe one size i think it technically says it's like an oversized fit but i think that i would maybe have liked it more if i had sized up one more size although because it is a not too oversized fit i can wear it underneath like vests and jackets so kind of just depends i think if you like the fit that's on me this is like my normal top size so size four if you want it to be a little bit more actually like oversized i'd size up size anyway this is in white opal love the soft stream material like i said it's the best and then i've got it on with the green crossbody belt bag and then my all white sneakers really need to exchange these i want these so bad like i wish i could wear these tonight but i need to exchange them and that makes me sad because i don't want to wait for them to like get shipped back and then the new ones get shipped but what can you do I have personally never ripped a tag off a pair of pants as fast as I did with these. These are the Dance Studio mid-rise crop joggers. And I was honestly hesitant about getting these in the first place because they said that they were mid-rise. But you guys can see here, they're definitely high-rise on me at least. I feel like they cover my belt, like my belly button's right here. They definitely go well above my belly button. They have a drawstring so you can tie them in as tight as you want. I got these in a size two and I'm so glad I did. I think they fit perfectly for me as a size two. So that's where I'm saying like, you just never really know with Lululemon. Sometimes things run tight, sometimes things run loose. They look so good all the way around, especially the booty. I honestly kind of feel like they give me a little bit more of a booty than I even have. I don't know how they're doing that, but I feel like it just looks really good. So I love these. Like I truly am obsessed with these. So lightweight, I can definitely wear these late summer because there's they're not like cotton joggers. Super, super lightweight, almost like an athletic material. I'm obsessed with these. I want these in like 100 colors now. Like I love these. Really good length on me, 25 inch inseam which has been working really well for me apparently in this haul and i just love this color guys this combo right here super fitted top with like a little bit looser bottom i'm obsessed with like i love this look definitely not returning these so glad i tried these because they come in like so many different colors these have been out for like a while i'm pretty sure because i kept seeing them but i was kind of hesitant to order them because the mid-rise so glad i ordered these i love these so much same top, looks so good with these bottoms. And then the City Adventure bag and trench, all white sneakers, such a vibe. Next up is this tank, and this is the Align removable strap tank in the color Bone. And I actually wasn't super sure about this top when I ended up ordering it, but I wanted something that was like a square neck. And because the strap was removable, I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it, see how I like it. I really love the neckline on this. It's so, so beautiful. And what I didn't actually expect is that I kind of like the uniqueness that the removable strap gives the top. I don't know why, but I really like it. You can just unhook it and then it comes out and then you just have a normal square neck tank. It's the Align fabric, so it's super, super soft. The color bone literally matches everything. And I don't know, something about like the double layer, it almost looks like you have some kind of 
like sports bra on underneath it that just adds some interest to the top. It also comes with another strap I noticed that is a different color. So I don't really know why it comes with two straps. I thought maybe the other strap that it came with was like a shorter strap, but it's the same length, just a different color. So you have two straps. I have the matching bone color strap with the bone top. And then I think the other one is just like a stark white, but I love it. Super smoothing fabric. The aligned fabric is so soft. I've got it on with the tennis skirt. If you've watched any of my Lululemon videos, I think I've featured this skirt in basically every single video because it is truly my favorite thing. Probably that Lululemon even carries. I just think the design of it is so, so good. It is a high rise skirt. I wouldn't say it's like a super high rise, like it doesn't go up to your rib cage, but it's really comfortable, high rise. It has two layers of fabric, so a lot of good movement. It's so pretty, super functional, it's fully lined with biker shorts that can hold your phone and tennis balls. Basically, it's like my favorite thing that Lululemon has and I have it in two colors, but if Lululemon releases this in like trench or espresso or Java, I'm getting it. Like basically, if it comes out in another neutral color, I'm gonna get it because I love it so much. But this is my next look. This is the original, just one liter, classic Lululemon belt bag and same all white sneakers. Next up is this Wonder Train strappy tank. Got this in a size four and I actually showed you guys this top. I think it was like the first thing that I was wearing in brown in Java. Got it in purple. This is now my third color of this tank. I just, I love this tank specifically because it's no fuss. It's just a very simple square neck, thin strap tank, built-in padding, built-in bra. You can remove the padding, which is really, really nice, but it's super, super soft, but really supportive. And I love how high the square neck goes on you. So if you're doing any sort of exercises where you're laying on your stomach, you don't feel like you're spilling out of your top. So it's really, really great. I got it in this really beautiful violet color. I'm obsessed with this color. It's so pretty. I love the muted colors that they come out with. I don't have a ton of colors in my Lululemon wardrobe, if you couldn't guess, but the ones that I do have, I feel like are a little bit more muted and soft. So I love this color and it's a really good crop length. So it hits kind of right at the top of any high-waisted bottoms, hits right at the top of the tennis skirt, the top of these joggers. These are the scuba crop joggers and I love these. Oh my gosh, I have honestly not worn these since the spring because these are so warm. They're like fleece lined, so they're super, super warm, plushy, cozy but not the type of jogger you wanna wear in the dead of summer. So probably won't get to really wear these until the fall, but once fall hits, I'm living in these joggers. Next up is this really simple tank. And I realized that I don't have a lot of tops from Lululemon that aren't bras or like bra tanks that are really fitted. So I wanted to get something that was loose fitting that I could just throw over bra. So I've got it over the tank bra I just showed you guys, but this is like the perfect fitting tank like honestly it's so so lightweight i love the fact that it has like a little bit of a higher neckline so if you are wearing a sports bra that you're just like i don't really want to go to Publix in that or go out with that i sometimes will wear like lower cut bras to pilates or just something that i'll work out in or go running in and then i'll want something to like go get coffee and i can throw on over what i wore to my workout so that was my vision with this tank i really just wanted something that i could throw on over a sports bra this one is in the color no Nomad. I love this color. It's like this beautiful dark taupe kind of stone color. It's really pretty. Got it on with the Hotty Hot 4 inch inseam shorts. These are the high rise ones in I believe the color Bone and the mini belt bag white sneakers. I feel like this would be the perfect lunch outfit, going to an errands outfit, walk the dog outfit, post workout outfit you name it. Next up is this scuba oversized funnel neck. And I got this one in the color Java because I obviously needed it last year. I got so much stuff in Java, not last year. Wow, that feels like forever ago. This spring, so like seven months ago, wow. I got so much stuff in Java. Chocolate brown has obviously been my favorite color. And when I saw that they released the funnel neck in Java, I knew I had to get it. And I think after having accumulated a couple different scubas, I think I like the funnel neck more because it's not super weighted in the back. The hood on the other scubas can sometimes kind of bring the front of your scuba up. So what's unfortunate is that Lululemon does not always release the same colors in 
the hooded version and the non-hooded version. They pick one and they release some colors and they pick the other one and they release other colors. So you can't always bank that the color that you want is gonna be in the non-hooded version. So just keep an eye out on the site. Sometimes they'll release the color that you want and sometimes they'll release it in the hooded version. Sometimes they'll release it in the funnel neck and they won't release it in the hooded. So you just gotta stock the site at all times but java is my life the logo on the back is in gold the zipper and the pole is also in gold which i think is really fun lululemon doesn't do a ton of gold which i kind of prefer i wouldn't want everything to have gold accents but i do love the fact that the java one has the gold pole i just think that's special i've got it on with the same shorts from the very beginning of this video the one with the panels and i obviously would wear this with like leggings as well my aligned leggings right now are currently dirty should have cleaned them before this video but scubas look so good with any type of legging and they're just like the comfiest and the coziest like if you don't have a scuba and you're interested in lululemon like that's one of the first things i would say to get is one of their scuba pullovers they're so soft and cozy also really quick i want to show you guys the difference between java and espresso so java on top it's a lighter warmer tone brown espresso is a darker cooler tone brown and then this is brown earth or dark earth or whatever i literally cannot remember what that's called so espresso java brown earth you can see all the different shades of brown now just to get an idea of maybe what shade is for you and they also have like a more orangey lighter brown i don't have anything in that color but java has been my favorite so far espresso second favorite for sure brown earth i'm not totally convinced i love it yet because it is a little bit more purple all right i know i'm a little bit ahead of myself but i have wanted this wonder puff cropped jacket since last year when i got the wonder puff vest and it is worth it guys like this jacket is so soft it is so high quality it's so warm like it is the best jacket ever like i am truly so obsessed with it like i love this thing and i ended up getting in black because i just i want to be able to wear this literally all the time and not have to worry about it getting dirty or just i don't know worrying about it and also black kind of matches everything so got it in black it has a removable hood just like the puff vest and this puff material is i'm telling you guys it's so warm this is a dream come true for me like truly i love this I love this so much like it just looks so basic but it's it's the softest material like you have to feel it in person it's amazing i got it in my normal size size four and when i went into the lululemon store to try on my vest they were like you might want to size down because these run a little oversized and i was like okay so i tried it size down and it was like kind of tight in the arms and i couldn't wear it over bulky sweaters and that's one thing that i really wanted to be able to wear both the vest and this jacket over is like big sweatshirts, bulky sweaters, turtlenecks, like just things that you're gonna wear in the winter. I feel like if I'm wearing a heavy jacket, there's a good chance I'm gonna wear it over a heavy sweatshirt or a heavy sweater underneath it. So right now I just have it on over this tank because I think if I put a long sleeve under this, I would legitimately be sweating. I'm already starting to sweat a little bit. It's perfect, guys. It's just like so perfect. If you've like considered the Wonder Puff Fest, or this Wonder Puff jacket, don't hesitate. It's literally amazing. So we got it on with the camera bag, soft stream pants I showed you guys earlier, purple tank. This is my next piece and I love it obviously so much. This is the Define sleeveless dress and I think this is so flattering. I honestly love any type of like zip up that has a high neck. I just think it's very powerful, it's very, I don't know it just oh, it looks so good so i got it in a size two which i was thinking of ordering it in a size four but i'm actually really glad that i went with the size two because i feel like it fits the way that it's supposed to fit it's the defined material so it's thicker it's form-fitting it's super like sculpting and flattering and it's in the espresso color which is just Gorgeous. So this really beautiful dark cool brown has a gold zipper detailing and to me it feels like a really good length If you were really tall, I could see this being a little bit short But for me being five foot two, I feel great in this it is really hugging So it's not gonna like come up on you. It's pretty form-fitting 
and I feel like this is so cute. Like it's so flattering. It's so cute and it's so different than anything that I have from Lululemon. So I'm really, really excited about this. I just think that this is such a fun piece. But that is everything from this Lululemon try-on haul. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through all of those pieces. I know this was a giant order. I hope you guys enjoyed it though. Like I said, everything will be linked down below in the description box and in a blog post that you can find pinned in the comments. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite piece was from this haul. And if you happen to be new here on my channel and you want to stick around for some more videos, be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm constantly doing Lululemon reviews and orders. So be sure to stick around for that. And I will see you guys in my next one really, really soon. Bye guys. Bye.